Now things are getting serious. Just girl talk. Let's go to some dark place for a date. That's one hell of a date you have planned. Oh yes. garbage. Huh. Yeah, of course it doesn't mean that. <laughs> oh, nice. Good plan. Oh, no. We're going to do something very bad. Very bad. Good move. It's not a good smell. Yeah. That's him, huh? I don't think he cares about your forgiveness. They are intimidating.
Huh. Daily. Rinka's in coming in here daily. Thump, thump. Right behind you. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a thump that she that she on heard. I mean, I mean, no shit. It's obviously a thump that she on's hearing, but she on mentioned hearing the th this in Wadanagashi. And she was freaking out because we never heard it. Thump, thump, thump. Of course you could, he's just, he's just blunt like that. Shocker. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Oh, yeah, totally. Have fun dying. Mm. Onikafuchi. Wow, that thumping is really aggressive.
Finally, we be eyes. It may not have been so good. We'll be right back with more Higurashi. Now we get into the depths of these tips. The depths of Xi'an's book. underground torture room is officially called the underground shrine storage. So do torture room and shrine storage mean the same thing? Sure, why not? According to Takano-san's theory, the bloody rituals, including Wadanagashi, have been passed down among the three families even after the Meiji era. Rituals are always ready to be performed. Worship always comes with torture, so Hinamizawa's history involves lots of human slaughter. Takano-san's theory is right. The underground shrine storage at the Sonozaki house looked well-maintained and ready. Takano-san is right about that, too. Since the Sonozaki family and the Furude family have a shrine storage, the Kimiyoshi family must have one, too. Oh. They all have one? That's a new thought. Ancient brutal custom is still handed down through the generations. I should, be, I should be prepared for the fact that occult events are still secretly being performed in this cursed village. Well, next page. The secrecy of the shrine storage is one of the most eminent elements of the worship of Oyashiro-san. Of course, I knew that since I'm one of the Inamizawan people. But breaking the, se breaking the secrecy is actually a more serious problem than I thought. Takano-san's research shows that the history of shrine storage's secrecy goes way back in history. The ritual implements have been viewed as sacred objects. That's why it's strictly forbidden to enter. Takano-san's theory says that Watanagashi was once a public execution to stabilize the reign of the three families rather than a purely religious ritual. If so, the ritual shouldn't be called sacred. Everybody must have detest detested the ritual. If the malice was obvious, the rain would be too terror-driven. But if there was some secrecy, it would look divine. If an outsider touches it, then it's considered impure. It means if anyone could see the truth, the dignity would be lost. So they decided to hide it, so that people would assume it was divine. Well... You make a good point there. I will admit that, that's a good point. They were cursed because they broke into the shrine storage, awesome. Wasn't there, uh, that one moment when someone accidentally turned on the light in the hallway? The top of the curse system? Hmm. That's also a good point. Was our breaking and entering convenient? Just convenient for the sake of... Uh... Or maybe, I don't know. Rika predicted that she would be hit, right?
that she was going to die this year. In another timeline of sorts. All right. So Grandma could get to sleep. You're in a demon's stomach. I wouldn't have woken up if I hadn't heard that voice. I might have woken up at all. Whoa. So that note's before the notes we just read. About the curse and all that. There's the moon. That's what you thought? Hmm. This is not going to end well. Things are not well. Grandma's home. Wait. Young ones went too far. What? Whoa. This urge for making Oyashiro Sama angry. They know. Oh no. There it is.
Possibly. Even inside your house after a while. But it didn't start after the shrine storage. It was happening before the shrine storage. It just got worse. shit. Probably for the best. Oh. Well, these thighs are back to normal. That's good. Oh, no. Oh. You look like you feel terrible. You look terrible, come to think of it. Yes. Okay. The pacifist. The relatives of the traitors. They did that, yes. Oh no. Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Oh no. Oh no. This is all starting to come together. This is all starting to come together. Holy shit. I mean... There's been definitely a few of you who have suggested a certain theory throughout, and it's starting to come true. And after reading a few guys suggesting that theory, I did a lot of thinking and I realized a lot of things that were kind of coming together. Like, just the juxtaposition of uh, Xion breaking down and apologizing for everything in front of her family. And then, uh, Xion and Watanagashi in the cell down here breaking down and apologizing for everything. And the fact that, uh, it was revealed to Wan Nagashi that Shion was gone before uh, even uh, well, pretty much it was like she met Keiichi to talk about the uh, in the library and then after that she was gone. And, uh, e even though, uh, even though Keiichi didn't actually see her, he was still, uh, calling her. And Shion was still answering. Of course, the only way that would make sense is if it was actually Shion. So much of this is starting to fall into place now. Why Sadako was uh, called the Mion's place and kidnapped. Definitely why Oryu, Oryo, Oryu, uh, turned up dead. I'm just gonna stop saying her name then, because uh, I I can never pronounce it right, and everyone always gets on my case for not pronouncing that one right. Of course he would. She's she's kinky that way.
about so much. Okay. Obviously the first one marked the end of the damn conflicts, and the rest are kind of anniversaries. Right, because she's, she's a boss. She's a badass grandma. Hmm. So there's someone who takes care of the, the actual killing. Is it the Xi'an's parents? And the Yakuza connections? Hmm. There we have it. We'll be right back with more Higurashi Kai. Do you have some tips? Nope, we're right back. <laughs> 